What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this Ninja Mask logo effect. Yeah, this style looks so cool, and I'm so excited to show you guys how to do it. Now, you guys will need a plugin called Trapogen, and it is not free, unfortunately, but I'll leave the link in the description on how you guys can get it down below. I'll also leave a link to a Lightroom and Materials so you guys can go ahead and follow along. It won't be the exact Lightroom and Materials, but they are very, very similar. With all that being said, guys, let's jump right into the tutorial. So what you guys want to do is go to file and go to merge. Go ahead and navigate to your AIs. If you guys don't have an AI, I'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can go ahead and make an AI. But I'm going to select the phase logo and go ahead and click open. And just go ahead and click OK. You go ahead and click coordinates and type in 0 for the X and 0 for the Y. Go ahead and hold right here and get an extrude and drag the spline into the extrude with the air pointing down, just like so. Go ahead and click the extrude and click object and go ahead and change this to 60 centimeters and put the subdivision at 4. From here, go ahead and click caps, change these both to fillet caps, put the steps at 10 and put the radius at 3 for both of these. Now from here, what we want to do is go ahead and go to plugins and go ahead and get a trypogen. Go ahead and drag the extrude into the trypogen with the air pointing down, just like so. And actually, we're gonna make a backup um, extrude. So go ahead and click the extrude and hit Control C, Control V. And I'm just gonna drag the extrude on top, but you don't have to. So from here, go ahead and hold down right here on this cube and get a subdivision surface and drag the trypogen into the subdivision surface. And this will just basically smoothen everything out. So from here, we want to go ahead and click the Trebogen. We go to Utilities and put the reduction down to around 6%. 5 to 6% will be good. And I put the weld around like 8 to 10 centimeters. So I'm going to go with like 9. So I'm also going to drag this to like 6.8. Should be good. I'm also going to go ahead and to the extrude and just buff it these up a little bit, put these at 5 centimeters, and that will help get rid of the sharp points. So if you guys have any sharp points, you guys can just go ahead and increase the radius a little bit, and that should help. Um, but ultimately, you guys just want to go ahead and get some nice smooth um, curves, just like this. But these are my exact settings, if you guys want to copy. Just make sure that there's no points um, like this, like no weird um, jagged points. Uh, like that. So just go ahead and mess with the settings and get something to where you guys don't have any sharp points like that. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and copy the subdivision surface and go ahead and get an atom array and go ahead and turn the subdivision surface off for now. And we're going to go ahead and put this into the atom array. And go ahead and click the atom array and Put this at 1 and it should change the cylinder radius as well, just like so. And now if we turn the subdivision surface on, it will get really laggy. So I would recommend changing the subdivision surface down to 1 and 2. And go ahead and turn it on and go ahead and see what you guys get. And just like that, we have the Spider-Man effect. Now from here, all we have to do is go ahead and drag our materials on. So for the atom array and the or the trypogen, I used a silver material just like this. So go ahead and drag it on. And go ahead and click it and change the projection to cubic and seamless. And if you hit if you select the material, hold control and drag it down, it will duplicate it onto um, the subdivision surface. And if you guys are using Mac, it is Command. Now, for the base logo, I used red, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag that under the extrude, just like that, and click Cubic and Seamless. Now from here, all we want to do is select the bottom layer, hold Shift, and that should select everything, and click the uh, top layer, and hold Alt and G, and this will put everything into a group. Go ahead and select the rotation tool and then rotate this just like so. Maybe something like that. Go ahead and click this button to render. It will take a little bit to render, 
Um, but just like that, as you guys can see, uh, we have the effect and it looks super, super clean, really cool, really simple. So yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. If you guys like this tutorial, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.